Washington's voter ID law. Yesterday, a judge ruled that law is unconstitutional, but Van Hollen plans to appeal the ruling. Shelley Walcott has that story. This is the second time that a judge has blocked the controversial law, pretty much ensuring that it will not be in place for the November elections. Members of the Milwaukee NAACP are jubilant. The right to vote is paramount. The Supreme Court has previously called it a sacred right. Tuesday, Dane County Judge David Flanagan permanently blocked the voter ID law. Last year, Republicans passed the bill requiring all Wisconsin voters show photo ID at the polls. The Milwaukee NAACP and Voces de la Frontera sued. Our biggest concern was that there are 300,000 voters that would uh, be disenfranchised uh, because of the very strict and narrow uh, limitations of the new photo ID requirements. But many people do support the law. You should have a driver's license or something to show that you're a United States citizen. Attorney General J.B. Van Hollen says he plans to appeal the ruling, saying voter identification helps ensure election integrity. It is a measure that protects the right to vote. But Newman Ortiz says it's about voter suppression. I think it's a waste of taxpayer dollars. Uh, we saw that in the redistricting lawsuit. And again, the attorney general says he plans to file an appeal, although it's not clear exactly when that will happen. On your side in Milwaukee, I'm Shelley Walcott, today's TMJ4.